Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. So, wireless earbuds. If you're gonna get rid of the headphone jack, you might as well make them good, right? But as far as like the de facto standard wireless earbuds for Android, you'd think Google would make the best ones. And when they finally got rid of the headphone jack and the Pixel, they did make the first Pixel Buds, but they weren't that good. They were pretty disappointing, honestly. They had the cable between them, they had missing features, they weren't very comfortable, so I never really recommended them. But now these, these are the new 2020 Pixel Buds. Maybe you've seen them by now, and they are way better. They are miles better than the previous ones. That wasn't a very high bar to clear, but they've vaulted so far up. They're now in my top three favorite wireless earbuds, period. So I'll share that list at the end of this video, but let's talk about what they did so much better and why. So the big bullet points for these are they're 179, they have a five hour battery life, and they don't have noise cancellation. So actually on the surface with just those specs, they're not that impressive at all, right? You know, pretty average battery life and no noise cancellation like some of the other premium buds. So what makes them so good? And honestly, it's just that they nail all the fundamentals like really well and they've just been rock solid to use. So you can start off with the case here. It's a sweet soft touch matte finish and I like this white one uh, and it's got a black and white contrast like, a, like the Panda Pixel basically. There's matching lights, one on the inside and one on the outside and the buds just go right in and snap satisfyingly into place with the magnets pretty easily and they're strong magnets, so they're easy to get out, but once you snap them in, they're not going anywhere. And it's got this satisfying snap shut with the magnets and the hinge. A lot of them have this, but not all of them do. The old fabric ones definitely didn't, so this is sweet. And it's just small. It's just a little small little pebble case. It's really pocketable. It's around the same size, same volume as an AirPods Pro case, if you've seen that before. And it's just as thin, so on the spectrum of different case sizes for wireless buds, these are really nice. That makes a big difference for me as far as how often I want to carry them around and actually use them. Basically, if they can fit in the tiny pocket inside the main pocket in my jeans, I'm in. I'll carry these. But then on top of all of that, it's a USB Type-C port on the bottom for wired charging, and there's also wireless charging. So you can drop them on a wireless charger where the coils line up, like this Nomad one or any flat one, but ironically not the Pixel Stand by Google, um, or on the back of any phone that supports reverse wireless charging. Okay, pause. Just that right there, just in this new case, is a lot more than many other wireless buds can say. You know, so many times, the case is too big or it's not a high quality build. Like this is a nice case, wireless charging, USB type C, all this together, that's nice. So then we get to the buds. These are also white. Uh, if you wanna go a little more low key, there is also a black version and some other colors coming soon, but they're also very small to the point where the super low profile in my ear is a nice selling point. They don't stick out very far at all. Like it basically just looks like a little disc in your ear, there's no stem and they stay in my ears really well thanks to these little mini wingtip things. Now these are permanently attached to the buds, so they're part of the actual earbud, unlike some of the Jaybirds I've liked in the past that are much more adjustable. Uh, and you know, everybody's ears are different, so it's hard to say if this will work for everyone, but they're a great fit for me. You set them in place and you just kind of twist them into your ear and they lock into your ear, and they're not going anywhere. And comfort is also very good. I'm using the medium-sized rubber tips that came with them and they work great. The longest I usually have, you know, headphones in in a row is maybe three or four hours tops for like a flight or something. And that's that's about as long as I'd wear these. Although I know some people keep their headphones in like all day to work in a coffee shop. And I think that's pushing it for these. The wingtip at that point starts to feel like kind of a pressure point. But as far as others I've tried, the rock solid lock in my ear and the shape of them is great. And again, way better than the previous Pixel Buds. But then the other scenario for me is working out in them and I've gotten really picky about workout headphones. And I try, I did, I worked out in these, I went running in them and they stay in my ears 100%, that's true. But I still prefer the Jaybirds with the bigger soft wing tip. Those just feel more secure and comfortable in my ear. Um, but if you do wanna double these as workout headphones, they do stay in the ear. And of course the upside is the Pixel Buds are also IPX4 water resistant. So if you wanna go work out on them, they'll survive some sweat or some rain if you go running outdoors. So all that is great. So how do they sound? That's the big question with these. A lot of people have had some mixed opinions on them. To keep it perfectly simple, they sound pretty great. I'm a fan of the sound. These guys have 12 millimeter drivers that give 
great detail and volume, even some impressive instrument separation if you're just like sitting still and just listening, which I did for a while. Uh, no weird issues or anything with the sound, and they're compatible with a great variety of stuff. Now I think the downside some people will have is the bass is lacking a little bit of punch. You know, it's a, it's a little bit lighter on the bass. Now this is fine for watching videos and phone calls and podcasts, but a lot of people are used to more bass when listening to music. You know, if you've come from like beats or something else with heavier bass, so you might prefer a bit of a different sound. Now this is typically where I'd say, okay, go ahead and head into the EQ, and add some bass back, but there is no EQ built into the Pixel Buds app, so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you know what kind of sound you really like. But I think the main thing to keep in mind here as far as sound is these are not active noise canceling headphones. Uh, they are what's called passive noise isolating, which basically just means uh, the, the physical seal that it makes in your ear is all you get. And I guess, really, I don't mind too much that they don't have it. Like, it would be nice, you know, on one hand, the noise cancellation I've heard from the two to three hundred, three hundred fifty dollar earbuds like AirPods Pro, Sony WF one thousand XM threes, you know those those more expensive ones, it's really nice and they sound better. Uh, but these do undercut them quite a bit in price, so I guess I can't be too mad, especially when they do everything else so well. Okay, extra features. So there's a lightweight Pixel Buds app that you install during the setup process when you first pair these buds on your phone and you get some nice little extras down in there. First of all, it lays out and lets you learn all the swiping and tapping controls on the buds. Works on both sides for media, and they're pretty easy to learn. Swipe forward or backward for volume, one tap to play pause, two taps to skip forward, triple tap to go back, and a, a long press to pull up Google Assistant. I found this pretty intuitive. The only downside is the buds are so small that you know, when I was first learning these headphones, I would like miss the earbud, and I'd like kind of hit the back of it and almost knock it out of my ear when I'm trying to swipe. Uh, but I've gotten used to that over time. And let me tell you, having the Google Assistant in your ear all the time, pretty sweet. You just say the keyword. Not gonna say it out loud, but you just say that, and suddenly you're asking it questions all the time. And there's just something that feels like the future about putting your finger up to your ear like an FBI agent and just asking it a random question and getting an answer in your ear, even if I do just keep asking it the weather over and over again. I love it. Uh, there's also a feature called adaptive sound, which is basically supposed to change the volume of your media automatically based on the loudness of the environment you're in. But I haven't been in an environment loud enough to see if this really works well, so I, I don't know, I just leave this off and I swipe to change the volume myself. And the awesome case I talked about also does quick charge. So if you find the battery is about to die and you have a little bit of a quick break, pop them in the case for 10 minutes and you get two more hours of listening time out of it. And that gives you a 24 hours total with the buds and the case battery. When it comes down to it, I really like these earbuds. I think they're enough to, to turn me into the wearing earbuds everywhere I go guy. You know, I've never really been that person. You see people walk around with AirPods like 100% of the time. Um, I guess it's something about this quarantine life of being able to walk around the house with your earbuds in, but your phone's upstairs, but you can still call up the assistant and listen to a podcast. It's kind of nice. And as a bonus, there is no noticeable Bluetooth lag when watching videos with the headphones or playing games or anything like that, which is awesome. And you constantly also know your battery life thanks to the app, which may give you a bit of anxiety, but I find it helpful. But it really just nails the fundamentals across the board. Biggest downside, I think, is no noise cancellation. But, you know, for people who have used passive noise isolating earbuds before, we know if you turn the volume up loud enough, you can't really hear anything else around you anyway. I wouldn't fly with these, because it doesn't have noise cancellation, but that's just me. Also, the battery life, is average-ish, and I think if they did do noise cancellation with these, the battery life would have gotten even worse, and that would have been pretty bad. Maybe later they'll do a, some next-gen or a more premium Pixel Buds Pro, and they'll be 279, and they'll do noise cancellation and a bigger battery. I could see that, uh, but until then, these new 2020 Pixel Buds, nice. Uh, they are some of my favorite AirPods right now. Right alongside, I'll go, this is top three, along with AirPods Pro and Galaxy Buds Plus from Samsung. They're above the Sennheisers that I love so much, even though the Sennheisers sound better, 
um, because this is so much smaller and more portable and more likely for me to use it. So well done, Google. Thumbs up for the Pixel Buds. This is my review unit. I'm gonna be sending it back, but I will be buying a pair and I think making them my everyday headphones. Um, but let me know what you think. Are you, a, are you a headphones everywhere kind of person? And if so, would you get Pixel Buds? Or let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.